Oh my god, I can't even imagine what this boy's going through. But I couldn't. I heard the sound of a drill and then a saw. Somewhere between when I finished high school and when I got old enough to realize that my teeth were rotting, dental care had become something that was really, really hard to get. So I don't have terrible teeth, but I did at one time. And it took a lot of money to fix the damage that I had did to him over years. And I'll tell you, the majority of damage that was done was due to smoking cigarettes that I quit and sodas, which I still drink, but not nearly as frequent. And the lack of dental uh, over the years. You know, anytime you ever went to the dentist before without insurance, it costs a lot of money. And sometimes, sometimes it costs a lot of money with insurance. So dental problems come and go especially when you're young and a lot of people have a very 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 strong fear of the dentist because i don't blame him i've had a couple of procedures in my life something called a bone graft trust me you never want to have one of these done if you don't have to but very very unpleasant sensations even if you numb and even if you on gas really really unpleasant so i can see why and i've heard a lot of dentist horror stories and we're gonna react to one today by mjv animations make sure to head on over to their channel click the subscribe button and the notification bell and if you like reaction videos like this make sure to subscribe to this channel as well guys let's get into the story the dentist horror story last year i went to the dentist to get my upper left wisdom tooth removed Ooh. i thought they'd offer me general anesthesia where I'd go to sleep and wake up and it would be done. But instead, I was told that I would have to have the twilight option. What's which that? is where you get the needle in the arm. You're a bit groggy, but unaware of your surroundings and not fully asleep. I never heard of that. <laughs> I was told that I thought it was only like numbing and gas or sleep all the way. I've never had an injection that wasn't like... The full deal, like, we gonna give you this, and the next thing you know, you're gonna be awake. I, oh, oh <laughs> I don't know if I want that. And I had all four wisdom teeth removed, but it was at the same time, and I was under. Like, they put me all the way under, because they, I was impacted and all kind of stuff. It was rough. The, the recovery was much, much worse than the procedure, because the procedure was just me going to sleep and waking up. Now, I'm not totally sure why I had to have this option, but it was something to do with how complicated the surgery was. Okay. I figured as long as I didn't feel any pain, it wouldn't matter. And I wasn't nervous at all as I didn't really read up on what was involved. <laughs> but my friend Damon gave me a ride and then he was going to swing by and pick me up after. There you go. They injected me and I felt a little dizzy. They applied some gel to my mouth and lowered me into the chair. Oh. It was a strange sensation. I couldn't feel my hands or my feet, but I had an incredible itch on my nose. I <laughs> wanted to say something, but realized then I couldn't say anything. Wow, that's like sleep paralysis. It kind of, I don't know if I would like that at all. The twilight option, I think I would be much more, uh, well, I don't know. I think I'd be much more comfortable if I was alert of everything, but just numb. I, that's the way I've always had procedures done before and that was that was kind of comforting feeling helpless like that is a is a real fear I don't I don't know if I can deal with that y'all it was absolute torture real quick the dental assistant pressed down hard on my tongue the pressure really hurt then I felt a sharp stabbing pain into my gums it was excruciating oh my god she turned to the dentist and assured him that I wasn't feeling anything what? But I was. Oh, I tried no. to speak. I, I tried to tell her that I was feeling every single time she stuck her instrument into my mouth. So, you know, the dentist can tell. So, uh, a lot of times, I, I definitely don't want to jump when the dentist hurts me. But every once in a while, even though you're numb, the dentist will go a little bit too hard or something will slip. I've had the occasional mishap, right? And the last thing you want to do is jerk when they have their instruments in their mouth because it could do damage, you know? So normally, you could tell by the expressions of my face when I do like this. Oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> you can open your eyes real big and they see, ooh, and he'll say, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? So he'll know that's a sensitive spot. This, I, oh my God, I can't even imagine what this boy's going through. But I couldn't. I heard the sound of a drill and then a saw and then another needle and, oh and I felt God. a jab into the interior of my cheeks as the dentist poked around. It was the worst pain I'd 
ever felt. Wow. And then, and then there was this, this crunching sound. It was so loud. Uh, that's the worst, dude. When I had my, uh, when I, I, I recently had a root canal that failed, okay? This was like a 20 year old root canal that was done and it failed. So basically what happened is I needed to go get a retreat. Instead of the option of yanking it and getting an implant, I had to go get a retreat. Now, basically what a retreat is, is they redrill the canal and there's not much tooth left after they're finished. There's already not much tooth after the root canal, but after a retreat, there's really not much tooth left. And to make a long story short, it's super brittle. Well, guess who ate a Skittle and broke it and needed to get their tooth removed? That's right. So I had my tooth extracted and I got an implant done. Now this was the first implant. But I remember them pulling the tooth because there wasn't a whole lot left for them to grab onto and the roots were still in there really, really good. I felt pressure like you wouldn't believe. And the sounds, y'all. Oh, Bob. Oh, that crunching that he, that it's like it's like they're breaking your jaw, except they're not. It's it's horrible. OK, and the scraping, the scraping as he literally ripped out my tooth. Now, my nerves were so shot at this point, but as each time he touched a tooth, a sharp pain would strike through my brain. Oh, my and God. As he retracted his scalpel and the instrument that carried the tooth, it somehow slipped and he dropped it. Now, I felt it wedge in my throat. He didn't realize it at first. He was talking about his future vacation or something. Oh, my, my God. Tooth was in my throat and I could feel myself choking on it and yet there was nothing I could do. I tried blinking rapidly but never saw a blink happen once. It was it was like my brain knew something that was happening but my body and my brain w were just disconnected. Uh-uh. the dental assistant asked for the tooth, the dentist joked that he might have dropped it and she looked around outside of my mouth not even thinking that it was inside. I could feel my windpipe closing and fluid building up. I felt like I was drowning. Oh my God. I was begging for help, begging for her to save me. She stuck a suction pipe into my throat and it cleared some of the clot, but I guess I, I somehow swallowed it and I pushed my tooth further into my throat, jamming it in there. Now Gosh dang it, this is the most horrible thing that could possibly happen. This poor guy. Not only did he feel every bit of pain from a tooth extraction, which is the closer you get to your brain, y'all, the more the pain is, but he's literally thinking he's going to die from drowning. And he knows that the nurse and the dentist do not care. Like they numb to it. I was telling myself, breathe through your nose, breathe through your nose, but I just felt it getting hotter and hotter. It was like I was in an oven, and then she panicked. I heard them say that I was choking, at which point I could no longer breathe. I vaguely remember falling out of the chair and hitting the floor, and then being spun over and, and then just blacking out. When I came to, I learned the assistant had performed the tracheotomy on me. She had cut a hole in my throat so I'd have an airway to breathe. Now, have you ever seen one of those commercials where people have smoked for too long and they yes. have a hole in their neck? That's me now. What? The next time I have a toothache, I'm going to take a hammer and smash it out. Wow! Wow! Look! Look, 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 look! First of all, don't let this is this, this, first of all, malpractice lawsuit okay i would never ever 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 have to work again and neither would any of my children for this type of ridiculousness second of all i'm not so happy okay but that's ridiculous what happened to this man no way do you go to a dentist that you're not familiar with to do this surgery and if you don't have a dentist I don't know. It's it's hard to say. Like I've been going to the same dentist for years, y'all. And at one point, I did have to find a new dentist when I moved, you know? It would just like 
it's you have to trust and and it just didn't seem like these people were trustworthy maybe that's just what i gathered you know but poor thing and a trach have to live with that the rest of their life because of their oh, i'm so i'm so angry at that this could even happen to somebody oh my god take care of your teeth okay if we have to have a message <laughs> to go out on a bang take care of your teeth y'all take it from somebody that knows even if you don't go through disasters like this it costs a lot of money to fix damage brush your teeth off and floss all the time don't eat too much sugar right before bed rinse your mouth after every coke all that good stuff <laughs> brush your gums don't brush the don't brush the bottoms of your teeth your gums okay and your tongue because nasty tongues are nasty I love you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure to go over to MJV Animations and subscribe to him. And subscribe to this channel if you like reaction videos like this. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ogin signing off, and we'll see you next time. Break it down.